Hey Familia Igni here and welcome back to Shadowverse. This video is sponsored by Psy Games. Check out the NGE Shadowverse Open, an official Shadowverse tournament. Links to the tournament as well as to download Shadowverse are in the video description below. Today we're playing Unlucker's OTK Roach Forest Craft deck that made it all the way to the semis of the Open Week 8. Uh, and I was actually on that stream, so you should check that out once it goes up <laughs> on YouTube, because I'm on it. Hello. I commented on this deck uh, back during that time that it's something that I would take to ladder, because it looks really good, looks consistent, not that many one-ofs like you would normally expect with tournament techs. Uh, we do have the one of Elf Queen just for great heals and one of Glimmering Wings. I really like the inclusion of Tia because I feel like the meta has gotten to the point where you can actually finally fight for a board and not be too afraid of getting completely blown out uh, for it being too slow. So basically, it's it's an OTK Roach deck. You know, it's the same idea, same win condition as all the other OTK Roach decks. You know, play tons of cards, fetch your Roach with Goblin Mage, then play the Roach, then bounce the Roach back with Nature's Guidance, and then play the Roach again, and then bounce it back again with Nature's Guidance again, and then play the Roach again, and then you have Lethal on turn 6 or 7 or something crazy like that. And if not, you can just deal the chip damage and then get to turn 10 and play Jungle Warden with Elf Queen helping you get there in terms of life total. Yeah, we toss the Roach. I don't think I need the May. Ah, I'll keep the May. We'll keep the May. Okay, we shouldn't have kept the May. <laughs> well... It's not the greatest one drop I could play, but I don't think he has an answer to it. Unless he has like Blazing Breath right off the bat. No. I'm just gonna play these. Yeah, this is safer, right? Ancient Elf. Next turn. That's the goal. Hopefully this doesn't die though. He might just like Salamander on, yep. Uh, not the greatest, but he spent a salamander on a one drop. Not the worst either. Not the worst either. Got a three four on board on turn three. Dragon emissary. So some more aggressive dragon neck probably. I find. This. This deck doesn't run any Will of the Forests. So keeping fairies in hand is a little less important. I think I'll wait it out. Just pass. This could be a Rahab. Rahab Evolve would be pretty good for him. He's playing the Sybil on 4. He doesn't get the ramp from this, though. That's really strange that he would do this. Yeah, I don't know if I agree with that at all. But if he's ramping, then maybe I should save my dance to death for bigger threats. So this is 6 health. So I can't trade with it with uh, Fortune Hunter Vina very effectively, unfortunately. I could just play Jungle Warden for a 6-7. Kind of sucks I'm ruining one of my finishes with this. But I want to get something on... I want to have something on board. Maybe it's not really that important though. Maybe I should just play the Fina and have the Goblin and uh, the Goblin Range in hand, so I could draw the uh, Rhinoceros and then combo later in the late game. Maybe that's even better. It's probably better. Sky Dragon Ethica. This is unexpected. <laughs> it, won't be long. it does ramp him though. He is ramping at this. Lighten up a bit. Yeah, Fortune Hunter Vina is the best play last turn. I need to learn how to play Forest more. I'm so bad at it. I'm really bad at it. Right, I have the Aaron in hand, so I think I'll just evolve the Fina to get a thing on board and get the Goblin in hand. It's most likely going to draw me a Roach. I have three Roaches in the deck and only one out, uh, one May left in the deck. So most likely it's going to draw me a Roach, like 75% of the time. Seven play points. Second symbol. Oh, so gross. Bell ringer, angel. It actually kind of throws me off because I was gonna do elf child may, just guidance elf child may, but I can't do that anymore. Oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> I guess it's okay. Uh, 
Uh, if I play a roach, I want to bounce it back. So, can't do much because I'd have to play goblin roach. Nature's guidance, roach again. You can heal anyway. Definitely don't want to spend my elf child may. Coming up on full cards in hand, too. I don't think I want to pull the trigger yet. So I'm not even close to getting lethal with this. These black wings are unbreakable. Okay. Good thing is I have an Aaron, though. I must be afraid of Urd combos, I think. Should be a little concerned about Urd combos. There's a second Nature's Guidance. You're an intruder. I'm starting to assemble the pieces here. I think I'll evolve this. This ends here. Get out of my don't touch. I don't think he's gonna play a Hahamut on me. Not against this. He might play a Ouroboros or something. That would kinda suck. He's not gonna play Hahamut on this. He has to get through this somehow. Hmm. Zeus? Zeus would be kind of shitty for me, admittedly. So I have one, two, I have two to roach, one to bounce it back, two more for the roach, one to bounce it back, two more for the roach, that's eight mana. And I have a goblin and a fairy that I can play. So that's one, two, three damage, bounce, five damage, right? One, two, three damage, yep. Bounce, five damage, so that's eight damage. Yeah. Bounce again, and then play it again at 7. So 7 plus 8 is 15. Not quite there. Not quite there. That's on 9 play points. But I can survive till 10. Then I think for sure I'll have lethal then, right? Because then those are all added up. I wonder if I just pull the trigger now. I know I'm gonna May this. Come on, let's May. A worthy opponent. I don't have lethal. I can't pull the trigger now. Let's play Golden Rage and then bounce the cards back. If I bounce the cards back, I'll be up to 9 cards in hand, right? I can play Roach and then bounce them back. I still have room to play one fairy, I think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I don't have the room, so I just do this, right? Bounce it back with the elf. Get all my cards back. I won't bounce it again. I need to save it for the next turn. But I, I can play one fairy. I lose my zero cost fairy now, though, for the roach turn. Oh, my zero cost goblin right there for the roach turn. But I think that's okay. I think it's okay to lose that zero because I have I still have okay, so I have ten, so I can play. There's lethal, right? For sure, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. Should be enough. Hey, let's play. So one wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Hey, let's play. Should be more than enough, I think. Okay. Whew! We pulled it out in the end. Don't misclick the wrong card. <laughs> Here we go. Got him! You're a solid perfect. Fighter. Absolutely perfect. Against Rune, how important is still Injustice in the first place? Not keeping Tia for sure. What does Rune have in the early game? 
Depends, right? If it's like Daria, then I might need this. But if it's D shift, then the Sylvan Justice isn't gonna be that important. I'm not playing the Elf Child Nick, because Green definitely has like magic missile and stuff like that, so that's not coming down. Okay, now I'm glad I kept the Sylvan Justice. Now I'm very glad. But if he plays this on turn two, either he doesn't have a turn two play or uh, he has another Levi in hand. Typically he has another Levi in hand. At least that's what I would expect. If he Clarks me, then this is for sure Daria. I think this might just be Daria. Probably just Daria. Maybe just maybe his magic help. No, okay. So he's playing Angelic Snipes. So maybe it's D shift. Could just be D shift. <laughs> Do I just pass? I don't really feel like playing anything here. I think I just pass. Next turn, I have eight cards. Play the Elven Princess Mage down to seven. Evolve, get get nine cards. It's too many cards. Maybe I should have played one fairy then. Oh well, I'm glad I didn't. Well, he can't evolve this anyway, so it's not a huge deal. So he just basically just drew. Drew one spell boost card, okay. So I basically just played Lou. It's okay. For. I'll be fine. Guide me, Somehow I'll live through this. I don't want to burn a card. Even though this is giving him fodder for like magic missile or whatever. Although we could just freaking kaleidoscopic this and then I'd be very sad. Because then not only would I burn a card, but I have a not zero cost fairy. Enchanted library. Summon ice form. Alright, thank goodness that it wasn't what I said. I just stand to death this and go face. Yeah. For sure. Like I want to go really aggressive because it's D shift, right? It I want to pull off a roach combo really, really fast. I have. Okay, so I have one. One, two, three, four, five. I can play this, I can play this. So I have one, two, three damage from roach, bounce, five damage from roach, that's eight damage. I just need to connect three. I don't think I can though. I'll probably just play something and involve it and then trade in. So I can't connect three here. Maybe next turn. Next turn I can get lethal, I think. Unless he heals. I don't think Loon has much heal. I just have to be aware that I don't think he he, he, didn't, he for sure didn't play enough spells to, to D-ship me anytime soon, I think. So I think I'll be okay. Wait, did I have eight? I have ten, right? Because I can evolve the roach. Because I had one, I had zero, one, with six play points. Roach, bounce, roach, zero, one, roach, three damage, bounce, roach, five damage. Yeah, I had ten. It's not enough. Not quite enough. Almost there, though. Almost there. Let's play a big clunky thing. Maybe that can connect damage later. Don't really feel like I need it right now. Next turn with seven, I think I definitely have lethal. Unless he heals or wards up or something. Just don't ward up. Don't ward up and don't play D-Shift. Okay. And... Does he have it? Fiery Embrace. Alright, let's leave, alright? Let's go for it. One, two, three, four, five. So I can play two things. I'm gonna play the fairy as well. And there we have it! Nice. Oh, I got another Roach too. Not that it was necessary. Easy lethals. Easy lethals. Before the D-Shift even comes out. Shadow's kind of a tough one, because they're so aggressive that... It's kind of hard to assemble all the pieces when you need them. Yeah, keep the EPM. Going second. Well, EPM into Cresselia Tia is really good. Can help me come back on board against Shadow, actually. This might be really good. This might be like the best hand I could ask for against Shadow. Really hoping for a Ancient Elf, though. That would be superb. Grimnir is also pretty good. Not gonna lie. I can Fairy Fairy Grimnir. Something like that. Fairy Fairy just to get on board, I think. 
Yeah, you have two drop. Yeah, I have to be aggressive on board here, or else I just get run over. He's just gonna. He might just go face. He might just go face, and if he just goes face, I can trade. But he's probably gonna trade one of these at least. Or he's gonna eat one of these with a. Uh, yeah. And this guy's going face. No, he's trading. Oh, that doesn't, that doesn't even get storm. That doesn't get storm. Wait, so what is he doing? Dead Moon Disciple. Oh, jeez. Well, it does go through a Grimnir, but it's only two damage. I don't know why he didn't put it on this one. Maybe because he wants to spread threat or something. That's a little strange. So this can go through a war. That's fine. Ugh. What was even the point of that then? Come on. Yeah, we're we're in a tough spot already. He's going really aggressive. He's going really aggressive. I'm gonna take the one off the most health. Cause I could draw into like a uh could draw into a May or something. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus Louises. Yeah, that's a problem. Yeah, we are in dire straits already. Have you seen this? Holy shit. Yeah, we don't have a choice but to play the, the Tia here. For sure. Holy crap. It's got me on the freaking ropes. This thing can ignore wards, so this one dies. This one goes here. This one goes here. The problem with this is that he might just have the Soul Squasher to deal with this. He might just have the Soul Squasher to deal with this. And then he can just keep pushing for face. I really need my... It's even worse. Uh, I'm in dire straits already. What will I look like dead? Holy shit! Oh, I know that. Now you know. I, didn't, I completely forgot he had Mimi in hand. Oh man, that was just disgusting. Completely run over. Well, there you have it. Unlocker's OTK Roach that he brought to NGE. It works for me, at least. Unless I'm against Aggro Shadow, in which case then it's, it's kind of an uphill battle. But, but, regardless, you saw how effective it can be in other matchups that are a little slower. Really fun deck, just because you have to think with it, and that's cool. Well, that's it for this video. Like the video if you did. Don't if you didn't. Subscribe for more Shadowverse content in the very near future. And of course, thank you to my wonderful patrons. You have my eternal gratitude. If you'd like to support the channel as well, you can head on over to patreon.com slash And if not, that's fine too. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.